Welcome to Good Girl Fishing. I'm excited to start up this channel to show you my fishing adventures. I am on Lake Arthur, PA. Lots of lilies and weeds to fish here. And this is what I'm fishing with today. It's a wacky rig worm and I'll put links below on the specifics there. And this is a weedless hook. Uh, I get them on Amazon. I really like this brand. And my method for this is casting so that I can watch my line sink down in the water because I want that wacky worm to sit clear down on the bottom. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. Right in here there were some kind of channels. There's like lily pads, then clear water, then a bunch of weeds. So I was just dropping in the middle of all of that. Nothing was happening so I kind of reeled in a little bit to move my worm to a new spot. And then the action happened. And I don't know about you guys, but there always seems to be chaos when I'm fishing. There's like always something weird that happens. This little guy didn't want to open up, first of all. And then the hook was just in a weird spot. I was having trouble getting hold of him. And anyway, I get excited every time I catch a fish, no matter what size. And yeah, I'm, I'm a little approximate on my measuring, but if it's you know, a quarter inch away, I'm calling it a 16 inch. So I moved over to a spot where you can see the edge of the lake over here. And I tossed in, there were some weeds, but mostly lily pads in this area. And I like fishing in the weeds. <laughs> so um, paddling over to see what all I can do over here. I'm just going to cast to the edge of the weed line and see if I can catch anything there. And there's times where I'll land my worm on a lily pad or on a thick bunch of weeds and just pop it off and then watch it sink down. And I caught a real nice bass this summer doing that. You know, the bass must have just been right there waiting because as soon as I popped it off the lily pad, just bam, it nailed it. But other times I'm just letting it sink down and I'm what you call a line watcher. So I'm just going to let it sink and I'm just going to watch that. There, I call it like a little bead where the line is going down into the water and you can just follow that bead up your line and then you'll be able to tell when the worm hits the bottom. I let it sit there for a good five, ten seconds, whatever. If nothing's happening, I pop it up a little bit and try again. And then if nothing after that, I reel and repeat. I tried casting while I was still in some lily pads here. And sometimes you will have success in the lily pads, dropping your worm down there but most of the time it's weeds for me so I'm gonna move forward here a little bit you can see where the weeds get thick uh, at the top of the screen there you'll be able to see there's like a big a thick bunch of weeds here so I'm scooting up to see if I can find a hole in those weeds and that's what I want to do I want to drop my worm at the far edge of the hole so that there's room for that line to go down and let that worm sink down. And that was just not a great cast. <laughs> so I'm trying to hit those holes over there the best I can and not let the worm just sit on top of the weeds, but let it, let it sink down to the bottom. A lot of times where I'm impatient and I just don't let it sit long enough, 
but when I just stop, relax, take my time, uh, this method of fishing has worked really well for me. That was a great, I just love that because it was at the far edge of this hole in those weeds and I was pretty excited that I landed it right where I wanted it. Get in, get in. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't even know that was on there. So what happened here was yeah. it seemed like the bass must have just been sitting there and the worm dropped right in front of it and it kind of just chomped on it, but it didn't take off. It's like it didn't even hardly move. The line moved a little bit and I did not think it was a bite. So I was really shocked that this big guy was on there and couldn't have been happier. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's This one is 18. Man, he seems big. I don't weigh all my fish, but this one seemed pretty heavy for an 18-incher. Thanks so much for checking out this adventure on Lake Arthur, and I'll keep the videos coming. I can't wait to get back out on the lake again.